Have you ever wondered what would happen if you took your Costco list to Sam's Club? Well, in this video, I did just that. I took my Costco list to see what I could get at Sam's Club and see how it compared. So I'm gonna show you what I got and um, kind of go over what my list for Costco was. So you can see what I was able to get at Sam's Club that I would normally get at Costco. And then I'll let you know some of the things that I wasn't able to get. Okay, so let's show you what I got. So I got some tomatoes. I wanted to get a bunch of tomatoes to make a caprese pasta salad for a potluck that we're gonna have on Saturday. So I wanted to get stuff for that. They did not have mozzarella though. So the fresh, good mozzarella. So that I am gonna have to go to Costco for. I got some blueberries. They don't have organic. They don't really have much organic anything there other than like carrots and a few things, but most of the vegetables and fruits were all unfortunately not organic. I got some romaine hearts, even though I'm pretty big about getting organic. Got them anyways, just cause we needed them. And I knew that I just, I couldn't wait on that. I ate a lot of salads. So I bought some Malibu rum because I love coconut rum, but I previously bought a brand called George's Ocean, I believe it's called. And I don't know, I don't do so well with things that have flavor added to them. And you could definitely tell this artificial flavor that's added, but Malibu has never steered me wrong. I don't get headaches with it and I love it. And I'll just add it to my bubbly drinks to, you know, do a little cheaper version of a White Claw or High Noons. I love High Noons, but they're expensive. so. That's my little trick for you. I got some mushrooms. It seems like this is about the same size mushrooms as the one at Costco. I got some sharp cheddar cheese because I made some homemade mac and cheese in the Instant Pot. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to show you guys how I make that because it was so, so simple. I decided to just grab a sharp cheddar cheese because the mild doesn't quite have as much flavor. So I did that so I can make them more mac and cheese per request of my children. And as you saw, I also got some Tillamook cheese. I got some more carrots because my kids ate all of that, which makes me excited. I have been craving some sweet potatoes forever. Pretty sure that Costco would sell this brand of sweet potatoes, but these aren't organic and I'm pretty sure Costco's were organic. I got some more cucumbers, the little guys. These don't seem like they're a little bit bigger than the ones at Costco for the mini cucumbers, but they're working for me. I got some raspberries, I got two of them. They were a pretty good price. I mean, they're about the same as at Costco, but again, there was no option for organic ones. I got some red onions. I was actually very surprised at what Sam's Club did have because they seemed fully stocked, whereas Costco right now seems like it's just hurting. I got some Brussels sprouts. These ones are organic. I didn't even realize that, so that's awesome. I'm not even sure if Costco's are. My kids love these diced peaches in the little cups, so I got some more of those. I'm not a huge fan that it's in juice, but they love them and they take them for lunches, so I got them. It's kind of a treat. I got some uncured honey ham and this buffalo style chicken breast lunch meat. They had so many varieties of lunch meat there, so that was something that was really cool too. And I got some of this Tones Friday um, french fry seasoning, which I love. If you guys have ever been to Red Robin, you'll know that their seasoning is amazing and I'm hoping that that's the same. I actually have not tried this yet, so I'll have to let you guys know. I got this salsa because it looked good and I just wanted some good chunky fresh salsa. So I did get that salsa, we'll try it out. I'm kind of sick of the kinds that Costco has lately. I don't know, I get burned down on that. I just like it in big chunks and really fresh. I don't think this is very spicy though. I got some pears. We have not had pears in a long while. This was kind of cool at Sam's Club because they had a variety pack of the different muffins and Costco usually you buy six at a time, I think it is. They did have that option at Sam's Club, but they also had this option to be able to get three, three, and three. So I thought that was really cool. We got blueberry, chocolate chip, and banana. And then of course I got some more spinach and that's organic. I don't even know if they sell non-organic anymore. I got some Yukon Gold potatoes, a big old bag, because I have been in the mood for mashed potatoes. I wanted to make some of that. Josh smoked a brisket, so I wanted to have that tonight. I got some mixed nuts with sea salt. I just wanted, to, again, something that I could just snack on and grab a little handful of that's not, you know, junk food. I am trying out these chicken nuggets, I guess. Um, we usually get the bear chicken nuggets from Costco. I want to say they're a little bit more healthy. I don't really know, but these ones looked pretty good and I figured we'd try them out. So, you know, neither are organic. I guess it'll just come down to taste. I got some potato chips and some barbecue potato chips just because I didn't want to buy the little bags of potato chips for my kids because they keep taking them upstairs and eating them and not using them for their lunches. So I'm like, I'm not going to pay for the little bags when they're not even really using them. So they can make their own bags of chips because it's cheaper. I got some bath tissue. You guys, this is basically like the really nice Charmin one. It's like the softest toilet paper ever. 
Costco, I am sorry, but you need to step up your game because Sam's Club is the only place I get my toilet paper anymore because it is just so, so good. They had prime drinks. I went with my son, Asher, a couple of weeks ago, I wanna say, and they were completely out. We found it one time and we we're so excited to get more and they didn't have it anymore. I figured they were never coming back, but to my surprise, today they had them. So I had to pick some of those up. They're very expensive. So this is kind of like a once a month treat. Once they're gone, they're gone. I also got some Gatorade. We really only use these drinks for when they're playing sports. So those who are playing sports are going to get to have these. And I decided to get this. Tally is doing softball, Asher's doing football. So they're kind of doing the sports things right now. And then I got some napkins, which this looks exactly like the pack from Costco. I'm not sure how many Costco's sells in their packs, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of a wash as well. That is everything that I got from Sam's Club and I'll go over my list with you guys to kind of tell you the things that I wasn't able to get. Okay, so some of the things that were on my list that I wasn't able to get from Sam's Club that I would have gotten at Costco was jelly. They didn't have any really good brands of jelly. I mean, if you like like the Smuckers, um, I think they had strawberry squeezable, you know, jelly. I'm not into those. We like the organic jellies that have all the seeds and things. We usually get that at Costco and they didn't have any options except for the one. So I didn't get any jelly. The Activa yogurt, Activia yogurt there, I didn't see any. Um, they do have the Chobani though and I usually get that also, but they're bigger and I, my kids just don't need that big of yogurt, so I didn't get any. They did have pesto there. I was kind of tempted to try it, but I just really, really love Costco's pesto, so I didn't end up picking that up. Uh, they did have the tortillas. They had the uncooked tortillas that we get, but they Costco has their own Kirkland brand. I'm pretty sure it's probably the actual same brand as the Tortilla Land ones. I believe that's what it is. They did have the Tortilla Land brand ones, but I didn't get any because it was a smaller pack, so I figured I'll just wait. We're not, we don't need any right now. I just usually stock up on them because we go through them pretty quick. They had granola bars, but it was just the Quaker ones, so I didn't get those. I actually really like the Kirkland brand. I feel like they're a lot cheaper, but they did have these kind bars. They were kind of like squares, and those looked really good, but you only got 24 of them, and it was pretty pricey. I think it was like 50 cents per thing. So I was like, you know, I can get a million granola bars from Costco and kind of feels like it's saves a lot more money. I was gonna get pizza singles, the ones that are frozen that you just heat up, but I was looking at it, they had the deep dish, I wanna say it was Red Baron, I'm not sure, I'm sorry, but they had a deep dish kind of whatever, and when I turned it over to look at the back, it said made with GMO ingredients, and I try to stay away from anything that has a GMO ingredients. I think it's, was it Nature's Path? There's a protein, peanut butter chocolate protein bar that's super popular at Costco and everywhere that also, if you look on the back of those, usually it's a lot of the things with peanut butter, and chocolate, but they are also GMO, and so I don't get those either. I usually get chicken kebabs at Costco, but obviously that's like a specialty item for them, and so they, I didn't find anything like that at Sam's Club, so I didn't get that. And they did have some grapes, but they didn't have any organic grapes. Oh, Josh's home. Josh took Naomi to the doctor today. So they had grapes, but they didn't have any organic, and it was smaller and not that great. Hi. And then their bananas were all green, so I couldn't get those. I don't like buying the green bananas even at Costco because they just end up staying green and just getting weird. I hope this helps you on deciding whether you want to go to Sam's Club or not or go to Costco, but this, you know, they do have a lot of comparable items. They also had all their spices. They had a huge variety of spices, even the Kinder ones like Costco sells, but more than what Costco has. And they had a ton of snacks and lunch packs of things, snack packs of things, just a huge variety. So things like that, I would recommend going to Sam's Club for because it, not only is it cheaper, but they have way more variety when it comes to snacks and things like that, especially for packing lunches. One thing that's a must have from Sam's Club that we always end up getting, hey bud, is these spicy chicken sandwiches. They also have non-spicy ones, but these are great for lunches because you could just heat them up in the microwave or for snacks. But these are a must that we always get at Sam's Club as well. That's about it. That's everything that I got at Sam's Club. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. It helps my channel to grow and for me to know that you enjoyed it. I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, bye.